guys, what is going on? This is Ip of Rage Quit TV, going to be casting what I think is a practice game between Idra and Muslim, both players on Team EG. It is a TVZ on Talendrum Alto, which is a little bit of a funny map. A lot of Zergs tend to veto this in tournament play just because the opener you do is dramatically different than other maps such as Ohana, Cloud Kingdom, in the sense that two base layer is much more common because where are you going to take your third base? you got to get Lings out early to take out these rocks, and if you want to take the base over here, you are vulnerable to drops. If a drop comes here, they can take out the drones. You go to defend the drop, then they immediately just go into your main. Additionally, if the Terran end up getting this point, lockdown with marine tank their natural is gonna fall it is very hard to defend it and then additionally the immediate follow-up oh they're in position to take out your third base so a lot of zergs do like going up to two base layer get those infestors out or mutas generally go for infestor play nowadays just so you can easily defend anything the Terran tries to throw at you early game. Demuzzle most likely will be going for a one Rax Expo. He may go for a Reacted Hellion Expand. Both of those are very common. This game was played on the first week of this month, which means the Queens are back at three range. It's not those buffed Queens, unfortunately. It's not the newest of games, but hey... It's a game between the Muslim and Idra, a game this caliber. Of course, it's not going to be new if it's floating around on the web. I think Machine uploaded this in a replay pack. I saw a lot of games from Machine on Drop.sc, so this was one of them. The Muslim also is in really good shape right now. I think in the MLG in two weeks, as long as the Muslim doesn't injure himself or get sick, which is asking for a lot. This guy is definitely accident prone. He will do the best out of any member on Team EG in the upcoming MLG. He is just that good. Idra, he's probably going to do well just because he is seated in uh, open winners round five. Has uh, five opponents he doesn't have to go through, and that is one of Idra's weaknesses, playing against lesser players who end up cheesing him out of tournaments. Idra, is, uh, a lot of people say he's in a slump, which he is. He is going to go for a 15 hatch, then go for a gas and a pool, so getting relatively quick speedlings, it looks, so he can maybe go for a relatively fast third base. But as I was saying, Idra is in a slump. There's no denying that, but one thing that Idra always has had is a very good mid game his mid game is absolutely terrifying but his late game is relatively bad he ends up just throwing games left and right and that's why a lot of people just don't like Idrip's play style anymore because he is known for throwing games completely and then leaving out a little bit early so uh, definitely something Idra has to work on the Muslim, he is just solid all around, and the scary thing is, you never know what the Muslim is going to be doing. He has a wide variety of play styles, which makes him very hard to practice for. Players like Dread at the MLG, um, whatever the latest one was, the Arena, I think it is, I think Championship is in two weeks, said he feared Last Shadow the most. Not because of Last Shadow's skill level, but just the fact that he couldn't prepare against him. Preparing against your opponent is a big thing. And when you don't know if your opponent's going to two racks you, if he's going to go for a cloaked banshee opener, you really have no idea what to suspect. You are going to be playing at a small disadvantage. Going against Idra, you know he's going to play macro. You know he's not going to cheese you unless you just cheesed him in a game and then he may just six pool you the next game or maybe the next two games if it's a BO5. But again... Knowing what your opponent's going to do is a big advantage, and the Muslim knowing that Idra is going to be going for a macro game does open up with the one Rax Expo, is going to be following this up in what looks like to be Reacted Hellions. Idra right now looks like he is getting both of his queens. Actually, no, he has both of his queens out. Going to be getting one more just as the designated creep spreader also does help hold against any all-ins. Like if a Banshee did come, having three queens is very, very nice. But the Muslim is just macroing up. We will see Hellions come out. Jad who, uh stop Idra from spreading creep, but because he did go for the one Rax Expo, Idra's going to be able to get the creep out before the Hellions come, and it'll ex probably get down in this area, and then Hellions will have to worry about stopping the spread from this angle and also all the way up here. So the Hellions not going to be that effective, even though the Queens are back at three range because this game was played on the first week of May, if I did not say that. And, um, yeah. I don't really know what else there is to say. Both players really just macroing up. Idra going to be getting a spine caller at the 6 minute and 10 second mark. A little bit late. Generally, you do want to get a spine caller at 515 to defend against the immediate reacted Hellions. But Idra probably knows this was a one Rax Expo. Hasn't seen the command center. Somehow sees that mule. I guess that's because I am an observer. That has to be because I'm an observer. And I saw that dying when I went to Idra's vision. But anyways, he knew it was a one Rax Expo. He had an idea it was, so... He just uh, went to go for a bit delayed spine call. We do see the spine call just about finishing. 
as the Hellions do get to his base, so that is perfectly timed. It's not late in the sense of what the Muslim's doing, it's late in the sense of what you normally would be seeing Idra right now. Going to be getting the double Evo Chambers, and he still is not going up to a lair. I suspect his next 100 gas will be to that lair, or maybe he's going to be getting upgrades up because he is going for that double Evo Chamber. So he may go for the three hatch lair, just really delay that lair timing, favor the upgrades on his lings. The Muslim doesn't have any Ebays out, so he's not going to be getting upgrades. Instead, he is going for a relatively quick third command center. And uh, he will easily be able to take out these rocks. Additionally, he could lift it up and go down here. Of course, not the smartest idea to go in this position because it's very hard to defend. Yeah, you can have tanks up here, but taking this base and then just holding this area much, much more easier. Or holding the area back here. We'll see exactly what the Muslim ends up doing. Idra is getting that ground carapace, so not going to be going up to lair just yet. Really favoring getting upgrades out very quickly. Now starting his plus one melee. Does have three queens injecting larva and uh, one also gonna be spreading that creep there's hellions gonna be checking for the third base don't see it over here we do have lings taking out these rocks and they will eventually take it out the hellions will most likely come and put an end to their parade and now the queen gonna start spreading the creep on this side because he's got plenty of active tumors right over here and the muslim not doing anything to stop that does have six hellions out which is enough to kill like an infinite number of zerglings off of creep so these hellions are gonna be relatively safe and just Trying to shut down Idra as much as he can. Does check this one base. Doesn't see anything there. And now the Hellions are going to come up. See, Idra has done damage to these rocks. And now there's Lings going out across the map. And we have more Lings coming out here. But those Hellions are more than enough to take those out. Idra going to try to go for a counterattack. But the Muslim does have a complete wall up. And Idra's not going to be able to do anything right there. Does see that. Doesn't have a Banley's Nest. So he can't even try to bust down the wall. Does have a Ling on this one washout, so we can see if the Muslim ends up moving out. One Ling over here, so we can see the timing of the third base. And now we have Idra. Looks like he is going to be setting up for the flank as these Lings are going off over to the side. And Lings are over here, so he is going to try to flank these Hellions. And this can be a very dangerous move because he can lose all his Lings, and the Hellions will be able to run in. But he does get the flank. The Muslim not paying attention. All those Hellions do get surrounded. And Idra now has complete map control with creep spreading very far across Tal Ramalto at the 10 minute mark. The Muslim though does have this in an orbital command just building SCVs before he goes and takes a base. Is getting his starport up right now. Has started that tank production. Hasn't started siege mode just yet. And Idra starting his infestation but that is about halfway done. He is also getting 2-2 two, two, or actually 2-1 two, still. Assuming this will immediately go up to plus 2 melee. And Idra does have a lair, and also getting a third base right now. May go for a double expand. Yes, he is, as those rocks have taken out. He has delayed expansion by quite a bit, so he is going to be going for the uh, double expand at both locations. Does have a macro hatch, so he can produce drones very quickly. We do see him sitting around 73 drones off of two bases, so he is a little bit oversaturated, as we do see on both bases, but he will be transferring those down to um, his other bases as we do see a big uh, conga line just waiting for this hatch to finish. As it does, these drones didn't get the memo, will be taking the long path. Idra still just going very active with these lings being just ensuring the Muslim doesn't go on another base and trying to get as good of scouting information as he can right now. Idra, though, playing relatively in the dark, has no idea of what the Muslim has. Of course, he's going to have Marine Tank, but he doesn't know the Muslim's upgrades, and that is a big thing. We have plus one mech going down, 2-2 two, two, working for the Muslim. We do have the combat shields just about finishing. That's it's interesting that the Muslim went for a uh, stim pack before combat shields. Generally, you want combat shields if you're going to play... Um, defensive because stim pack doesn't really help you defend unless you're defending against like a Banley's bus. The reason is if you defend you use stim all your units are injured and for the future attacks your units just can't keep stimming and eventually you will stim yourself to death. Idra looks like he is going to be going in with these lings. The Muslim though does have a very good uh, defense up at this third base and those lings are going to be get a little bit sacrificed. He does see the upgrades now going to be retreating with a handful of them. I don't think he did any damage whatsoever but he has still lost less than the Muslim because he took out all those Hellions. You can see how active he is spreading this creep. The Queen at no energy going over to these Queens. They are really low on energy. Idra is on top of Injex at his main base. It looks like he's slacking a little bit on this one Queen. But still doing a relatively good job. And this is the mid game that Idra is known for. He gets so far ahead in this mid game. He's setting himself up for a perfect late game. However, he does have trouble executing late game strategies. And the Muslim looks like he is going to be moving out, going over into the Ermi tab. We do have the Muslim 
with the Lodra Omi by 20 supply, but Idra now getting those Infestors up. Going into his count, he has five, building two more. That is a lot of fun. Was additionally Infested Tunes and only three tanks. That means his Lynx may be able to do a lot of damage if he does a good job with his Infested Tunes, but I don't think he has Burrow. No, he does have Burrow, so that may be coming into play. Going into his units, he actually has eight Queens out, seven Festers, 74 Lings. Going to try to do a little bit of a run by. Can't get it. Doesn't go over into the natural. We do have the bunker placed in a relatively good spot. The Muslim, though, is going to be taking this one area. An okay Fungal Growth does go down on a few Marines. Does get the Metabax and has these Queens out here for transfusing, which can be relatively nice. Just helping these Infestors. The Muslim not targeting the Infestors, though. And he does have a good contain on this area, but we do have a creep tumor underneath, so Idra knows exactly what's going on. Does have the links coming in from both sides, gets a complete surround on this army, and now the Queens are coming out, gonna be helping the DPS. And it looks like Idra has stopped the Muslims push right here, and these Queens gonna be cleaning up the Marines, also getting some transfuse in the middle of the battle, and now this is what the Queens are really good for, to take out these medevacs, but Idra doesn't have another fungal growth to stop the medevacs from running away. The Muslim with a lot more units, these Infestors going to be going down, don't have any transfusions. Now the Queen's going to be falling, but a lot of Lings are on the way. We also have an Ultralisk Cabin for Idra. Also on the way, this one Infestor going in. Malay Distance not having the best Infestor control right there. Demuslim does pick up the Medivac. Infestor could have Fungal Growth, and the Queen's would have been able to finish it off, but Idra misses the Fungal. Actually, didn't even use the Fungal. Demuslim now going to be going up on his fourth base. Idra going to be going up on his fifth base right now as that hatch does finish. Going over into the saturation, this base looks like it is skimping a little bit. Could use a little more drones. We do have Demuslim moving out yet again with another force. And Idra is now getting Ultralis, so he should be able to stop this yet again. And another thing those Queens did is spread this creep before it even went away. So Idra using a little bit of Fitzy here style, using those Queens. So when the creep tumors get taken out, Queens are right there spreading it back before it recedes. Very annoying to deal with. And you can just see his creep spread throughout this whole game has been superb. The Muslim setting up another little positional place right here so he can try to take out this one base. Having this is definitely key for him, but it is going to open himself up to a large counterattack. And Idra can see the army right here. So if he wants to, he can try to do a little bit of a Ling run by. Demuslim doesn't have that much back at home. And Idra going to be going in yet again. This time he does have Ultralisks to absorb some of that tank fire. And Demuslim just doesn't have enough units right here. And these medevacs will possibly be going down with the Queens helping out. Ultras don't even need transfuse, and now the Queen's going to be focusing on the Medivacs. Will those Infestors? Yes, they do get a big Mongol growth, picking off a lot of the Medivacs, and this is something that Idra needed to do against Muro in that NESL showdown. Muro just had like 20 Medivacs, and when you have that many, it is just devastating. You can't really kill units with fungal growth because the healing of that just outheals the fungal growth. So Idra doing a great job keeping that medevac count low. So if he ended up going for Broodlords, then Demuslim would have to make the choice between Vikings or medevacs. But Idra is going for those Ultras. It doesn't even have a Spire out, so that transition, not even thinking about it at this point in the game. And I think that may be a mistake. He is stacking quite a bit of minerals. We do have Demuslim with a small drop right here of two Marines. And going into the workers killed, no workers killed thus far this game. Relatively passive game, Idra has taken out the army several times and is getting up to a relatively scary force with these queens. The queens and ultra are a very good combo with those transfuses. I'm kind of surprised he isn't healing up this one ultra in the orange, but it will heal over time. The Muslim now wants to take his fourth base, and this is something he has to take. Interesting enough, the base will be over here, which this base, not the smartest idea of Idra. I think this one would have been a much better base to take because of how the Muslim is going to be expanding. He's going to take this base, which means he's going to have to defend this base. If he defends this base well, then he can easily set himself up to attack this one base. So not the best expanding location right here. I think over here would have been a much better call. But then again, if he expands over here, then the Muslim will be annoying with things like this, and then he has two base he can take. The medevac will be going down. At the same time, Demuslim going to be doing another drop over here, but there are two spine crawlers, and we do have Lings on the way on over to deal with this. Demuslim is at 3-3. Three, three. Idra also at 3-3, three, three, but Demuslim does have plus 3 on his mech. The bio unit's in a great spot, and uh, can't really do anything right here. The ultras look like they got misclicked going up all the way to the top. Demuslim going to be sieging up over here with another drop, and this base is in trouble. So if he did take this one base, you can see the trouble now. The dilemma is he has two bases to defend from this type of play. But he would have units on the high ground anyways. So 
I don't know what is a better place to take. The Muslim going to be sieging up in this area to defend his uh, main mining base because this one is going to be mined out relatively soon as we do see. It's mined about over two-thirds of the minerals, so needs to keep this one base alive. And while in doing that, he can easily take out this base, or what I assume is going to be easily. And we do have two Banshees right now going to be trying to pick off the Infestors, but Idra does stop that with uh, using quite a bit of energy, but those Banshees did not pay for themselves. Actually, one will be getting away and gets another Fungal Growth on it. Will that be enough to take it out? This one base has fallen. So Idra right now mining off of these two bases. Actually, he does have this one base. Whoa, what happened here? doesn't have that much income. Bunch of Ultras are going to be coming over here. And those Infestors go in Malay This is the Queens attacking way back there. Not getting any chance. Fuses off all these Ultras. And the Muslim is tearing this force up. But Idra staying at 200 supply during this one battle. Does have 8 more Ultras. And Idra going to be throwing the GG. And a little bit of an early GG. But again... I think Idra probably would have lost the game. Maybe it's not that much of an early thing because look at what the Muslim is going to be set up for. Yes, Idra is going to be near max. But this base, as I kept saying, is going to be going down. It's just so close to where the Muslim's army is, there's no defending this one base. Three of the Ultras are here. Actually, two? No, one Ultra is here, so that Ultra will most likely go down. And then Idra's left really mining only off of this one base while he knows the Muslim is going to be having this one base as well. I guess, yeah, he does have this base, which he's not really mining at over transfer drones. I think he lost maybe a lot of the drones actually to this one thing when he took out this with the tanks. 10 kills, 12 kills. So this one drop killed a lot of the drones. Idra over transfer drones over here, which does kill his econ. Is banking plenty of minerals, but the Muslim just has too much. If Idra had kept these queens alive, let's look at this battle. Idra made two mistakes this battle. And this is kind of what I'm saying about throwing the late game. His up to this point of the game, he was playing so well. But uh, we saw, number one, bad infestor control, and number two, the Marines baited the Queens over here and just kept them occupied, and the Queens couldn't transfuse the Ultras, which is really why Ultras become really powerful, because you transfuse them, keep them alive, and they start killing units. If he killed off the Marines with Fungals or transfused the Ultras, I think he would have won that battle. If he won that battle, then he would have... Uh, pretty much won the game because this base would have went down. Well, it would have got lifted up and Idra does. Queens won't take out a command center. I don't care how many queens you have. I've never seen a queen kill a command center. Maybe I don't watch Fitzy enough. But uh, I guess you do have this one base that's almost mined out. So where would the Muslim go from here if this base does get taken out? So do I have this? No, I can't do uh, take this thing away, unfortunately. So going back to everyone. So, we're just about to get into the battle. So, what's going on now? These queens look like they are an attack move. These handful of marines are going to come up. And once these... What the heck is that? I guess that's dead marines and dead tank from just a moment ago. But anyways, these marines are going to come up here. And that's going to stop these queens because they are an attack move. And they're going to start attacking these marines, which they don't do much DPS. Go into the queen's attack... They have no missile attack upgrades, so they're going to do one damage, two marines, per hit, one single damage. So you can imagine how long it's going to take these queens to kill the marines, a very, very long time. So these queens are going to be taken out of the battle, which means they can't transfuse. The second thing is, Idra just is going to be marching these infestors. These three infestors use their energy dealing with the one banshee, but he still has four infestors worth of energy. The Muslim has a good marine spread. And maybe Infested Tans would be a good call in this situation. I don't exactly know. Ultras are clumped up. They are not spread out going into the battle. So tanks are going to do a little bit extra damage. But watch the Infestors. Gets one fungal, but to Muslim. Was that force targeting on those Infestors? Because they did not live long at all. Those Infestors died soon as they got in range. And maybe Burrowing and Infested Tans would be a better call. And yeah, you can see him force turning all those infestors down. And these marines, again, keep these queens occupied. And now the Muslim is just doing a little bit of a cutting with these marines. Because they can't get Fungal Growth. Has a complete surround on that ultra. Superb micro out of the Muslim right there. And then these queens are going to go down as well. And that goes a lot of Idra's main army is the queens. So, pretty interesting game. And I'm not going to be doing SC2 gears. I'm sorry if you want to see the injects. 
I will upload the replay. I don't want to take too much time because my power has been going out every 45 minutes. Everyone's turning on their AC units, and I want to ensure I stop the recording before my power goes out. So take care, guys. I will see you tomorrow.